days is a little rain or snow happening for us on Monday. But in the meantime, we've now flipped the calendar to December and just overall our normal high right now in Williston's 31 degrees. We're just going to go over across uh, many areas. So if you're in one of the bigger cities, here's what you can expect. And it doesn't even matter where you are across the state. Anywhere between 8 to 10 inches of snow is also considered to be normal for this time of year. And so our lows keep dropping, but it's funny because by the end of this month, even by December 20th to the 21st. Now our days start to uh, get longer and longer when it comes down to the amount of daylight. And so we're definitely going to keep this going. But the thing is, I want you to pay attention to the normal low for today. It's 13 degrees and we're going to keep this warm pattern going because when we look at the 10 day temperature trend for the lows, we're not near those lower teens. In fact, we're in the 20s to even near 30 degrees as we go right into our Wednesday and Thursday. And now when we compare that to the daytime highs for our temperature trend, Wednesday is going to be where it's at in those mid 50s, of course, but we're definitely going to keep this escalating upwards. And as far as the whole month of December goes, we're favored now to be above normal. And this map was just updated yesterday uh, by the Climate Prediction Center. And I fully agree with it because we're just stuck in this pattern of the warmer air. And I think that's exactly what we're going to be seeing. I mean, we already see it in the 10 day temperature trend. And so that goes for all of North Dakota. But then when we bring out the precip trend, well, we are favored to be on the drier side, if not near equal chances or near normal. So that will include Monday's precip and there's even a slight chance now as we go right into our uh, Thursday of next week. But when we look at December temperatures for Bismarck standards last year, our average temperature for the whole month was 8.2 degrees. That led to about 10 degrees below departure. And so I think this could be one of the milder Decembers that we've seen in quite some years. So that's going to be a plus. I think we can all get that break, especially from after last year. Now our temperatures today, they're in those mid thirties, very, very similar to what we had yesterday and the lack of wind. I think that's the absolute best part. There is once again, a chance of seeing the Northern lights. So if you do go out, just bundle up. We're still expected to stay within those teens to the twenties, but the earlier, the better in this time frame right now versus what we had this morning. Now we go into our Saturday. Our wind slowly turning out of the southwest because of a trough comes through, so still near 40 degrees. We're going to keep it that way on Sunday, but by Sunday we bring in the 40 mile per hour wind gusts, and that is because of the result here of that trough. So that's where we're going to see that change. But in the meantime, Krista, today we're with a south wind. We keep bumping up our temperatures. I mean, look at this right here. Wednesday, 55 degrees. I go with the five letter word of great. <laughs> yeah, I think the only people who might be disappointed with our lack of snow this year are skiers and snowboarders and everyone who rushed out to buy a snowblower last year. I, I was thinking about cross-country skiers and everybody too. Absolutely. Snowblowers. <laughs> you need to yep. try those out. <laughs> Maybe next winter. <laughs> next winter. Thanks, Heidi. <laughs>